What's up guys, it's Justin Yanagita with YanagitaFitness.com and um, today I just wanted to answer a question from a parent. Um, he has a 12 year old son, a little bit underweight, wanting to have him gain some weight, gain some strength, gain some muscle mass guys. So basically, um, I, I, there's two ways you could go about this. You could do um, sub-maximal weight training, which is basically I would even argue that you don't even need to do strength training at this point because um, I think he was telling me he can't even do a pull up yet. So I would start off actually with just trying to master body weight training, uh, mastering the chin up, the pull up, the push up, uh, walking lunges, jump squats, tuck jumps, uh, and just running a lot of hill sprints. Uh, sprints in general are great for developing your legs. I mean look at the sprinter's legs guys, they are freaking jacked. Um, besides that, so that's probably the main exercises and movements you should be doing. So make sure you do some push-ups, uh, follow some sort of rep scheme guys, like maybe try to hit, uh, you know, if he has a hard time doing 10, maybe have him do 30 push-ups as fast as possible or in as little sets as possible. And once that gets easier, you can do different variations of push-ups and move on to maybe dips. Um, mastering dips. If you can get 10 dips, you'll be in good shape. I know he's, yeah, he told me he can't even do one yet. So that's a good goal. Another good goal is just mastering the pull up, guys. And uh, since he can't do a full pull up, I would just have him, um, you know, have him jump up to the bar and hold it as long as he can, build that isometric strength, and then slowly come down in the eccentric. That would m massively build his lats, his rotators, his biceps, his forearms, his grips. A lot of things that are necessary as he's going into his teenager years um, and going to get introduced to weight training via his football coach. Um, Pull-ups. And then of course you have to have strong legs. So wa uh, walking lunges are great. Walking lunges. Just like having me maybe lunge, this is harder than it sounds guys. Lunge for maybe uh, 10 meters down and 10 meters back. His legs will be dying just with that. And eventually you can kind of, you can gradually increase the range, um, have him carry, uh, have him carry a little backpack on his back and then lunge. I mean, you can just get really creative. Um, doesn't have to be always dumbbells, kettlebells, barbells. But uh, that's the next one. And then of course, um, jumps, squat jumps, and even like farmer's walks would be incredible for his development of his entire uh, musculature. So just have them carry, uh, since you don't have any equipment at home, just fill up one, uh, one of these like, uh, what is that, an eight gallon bucket? Um, just fill up one of those buckets all the way up with water or sand or whatever, rocks, whatever, and have them carry that bucket and just walk a certain distance. Oh my goodness, that will build muscle all over his body. I mean, from his grips, from his shoulders, his back, his core, his legs, oh. So remember guys, push-ups, get, get your son to master push-ups, dips, pull-ups and chin-ups, um, lunges and farmer's walks, and of course, uh, sprints as well. Hill sprints, flat sprints, all great for conditioning and also uh, leg development. Um, and that's the video guys, just remember those basic foundation, uh, fundamental movements. And uh, if you got any more questions, please send them in and I love answering these questions. Please subscribe if this helped you guys. Um, yeah, I'll leave all the links below, we can keep in contact and I'll talk to you guys soon. Thanks guys.